Welcome to the show. Today we're going to be going over Baby One Book 2, Showered With Love. Your baby shower should be the perfect day to relax, but will family trauma ruin the celebration? So, we see as of the last chapter, we see we have invited to our baby shower, Jabedia, Clint's father, and we know like there is a, you know, a lot of uh, heat between Clint and Clint's father. You know, it all goes back long, but, you know, Clint's father tells us to go away and to raise the, our children on our own and to get out of Clint's life and on that Clint disagreed on uh, with his father and Clint basically now on his own he left his father's house now so and also we see like we get to know like how a uh, parent was you know Jabedia Clint's father how was he as a parent so and we saw like his principles are totally different and like we see this instance like Clint wanted this ship and he, but Jebediah, Clint's father, told him to get this with his own money. And he was a little kid back then, merely a kid. So now he did put up hard work. He got the money. But till then, the ship was gone. So, like, and other prin in, you know, principles, Clint really heavily disagrees with Jebediah, his father. So, but they are invited. So now, this is, like, there's got to be some heat between them, some beef between them. So we would have to sort that out. So now we see, like... You know, the baby shower is there and Anna tries to settle down. At first, she proposes a competition. Then, all but, you know, when everybody's distributing gifts, the thing gets, uh, you know, things get heat up. Basically, you know, Clint's father comments about everyone's gift like, you know, this is not worthy, this is not this, my time, you know, it was different. In my time, it was different sort of argument. So then uh, there is, at one point, they argue with each other, Clint and Clint's father. And... Then suddenly Clint says that, all right, so you are criticizing everybody's gift. Why don't you show us your gift? So then uh, his gift is that same ship, that model. So that, you know, broke the silence, tension between them. And, you know, we call them back. But before that, we also get a diamond scene, basically to see like uh, how we match with our soulmates. So that was nice. A lot of questions were there. So it was good. Now this is ended well. Then... And we say to Jabedia Clint's father to stick around because uh, we was hope we, we said like we hope to see him again. So that was a quite nice ending. It didn't go that bad as I was hoping it would go. And then we get this diamond scene with our love interest, a steamy moment. And then we see we go to Myra's office and Myra is really tensed and we see this video. Craig, Myra's opponent, he's now saying like the park, the noise is coming from the park and the park is incomplete. And probably Mayor Dixon is never going to complete building up that park. So, Mayor Dixon, is their re-election campaign is in jeopardy. So, we need they, they, Mayor Dixon tells us that we need to get this park done ASAP. So, we're going to be really hands on deck and we're going to do this. So, you know, 14 chapters, I guess, we're going to go. So, before that, I think the election thing will be wrapped up. And because uh, there, this baby blanket option, it has 14 chapters. So after 14 chapter, you know, our delivery is going to be there. We're going to have the babies and everything is going to go down in the next two chapters. If it's a 16 chapters book, we'll see about that. But as of now, so I think uh, we'll see the election thing because the election is one week away. So I think we're going to be getting we're going to be getting the result of the election by the 12th or 13th chapter, if not the 14th chapter. So it's going to be super interesting what's going to happen between, uh, you know, in this election between Craig and Mayor Dixon and how things are going to turn out. It's going to be super amazing. And I'm liking this book because, you know, as I tell, as I told you before, like it really this small country vibe, you know, this countryside, small town vibe. Like I played, you know, Big Sky Country. It was super awesome. So I really think like uh, you know, the music's are awesome. So let me know, guys, how you like playing this book and. Uh, you know, this chapter specifically. What are you thinking? And just, yeah, let's discuss in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening and bye.